Time's up, you have 30 seconds. So a couple of ways I plan on uh, publicizing and marketing the events is more banners around campus, especially one here in the Gardner building, one with logos of the clubs with the contact information. I feel like we need to get the clubs out more on campus, more activities for the students um, to interact with the clubs and you know be able to ask questions and stuff. So I'll be working on that a lot with the club presidents. Thank you. So mine is very similar to Zach, is to get them known and get them seen and get them heard. Um, get these clubs out where they need to be because these clubs on our campus, they're phenomenal. I've been able to be a part of some and just be around them and it's, it's wonderful what they can do for our students. So just getting them heard, um, it's very similar to what Zach was saying. Awesome, thank you guys. If elected, what do you feel should be the most immediate action in terms of benefiting the student body? That is such a tricky question because there are so many things that need to happen, but the question is what can we actually do right now and have immediate change? You know, three different things I'm going for are student involvement in athletics. Um, I'm also trying to promote the new mascot, and the third thing I'm trying to go for is putting franchises in, in the Red Rock Cafe. In all honesty, the first thing that can be changed and enacted is the fact to get more students involved in athletic competitions. Um, basically what we do is immediately set up a point system to where each athletic event receives a point and, or eight points, and students would attend those, election, or those events or competitions, and at the end of the semester, those students would be receiving prizes for their participation overall in those uh, competitions or activities. But what can happen right now, in this time frame, very soon, would be that student involvement in athletics. Sarah, if elected, what do you feel should be the most immediate action in terms of benefiting the student body? Um, I'm with CJ. That is a tricky question because it, there's a lot that, that needs to happen. Um, I would continue your plans of um, what's going on right now currently uh, on your desk with changing the, um, the garden center. I do think it is important to have more franchises in the Gardner Center, and those plans are already being made by our current student, by our current student body president. Um, I also think that it's important to make sure the students know that I'm here for them. So I would either set up with Matt a, a meet and greet with the new president so that they could get to know me and get my face more out there so they could know that next year that I'm the one they can come to with things that they have needs for. CJ, 30 seconds. The only argument I have against my competitor is what is new that's coming to the table that can be enacted besides it's already planned. Um, in all honesty, it's like, yeah, things are on the table and ready to go, and things are happening, but coming to this election, are you just trying to continue what has been, or are you trying to make Dixie great again with original ideas? So you have 30 seconds. Um, I think I'll just keep addressing the original question with, um, I also still want to get more students involved in the games. I do think it's important to build um, spirit on campus by getting involved in athletics. Um, I think change, now, now addressing CJ, I think change comes with any new leadership. Change will come no matter what. I will be influenced by people no matter what because I care about the people at Dixie State. So change will happen and things will happen. Thanks, guys. What plans do you have to gain awareness of student senate on campus for this coming academic year? Okay. Um, in past years, I know that we have a political involvement week in which we can um, set up times to have students meet with their fellow senators in their respective departments. I think um, it is a tradition we should probably want to keep on campus, seeing as how traditions are very important to us here at this institution. Um, also, um, furthering and changing things, I think it would be important maybe to have, um, maybe have like, like a student at large um, come in and see what senators do, and they can um, spread that to their friends and faculty or whoever they are around, um, just so it's not so, um, not necessarily, so it's more open to Dixie State, not just what's happening in our meetings and only with us. You know, the Senate has really gained um, attention 
Um, before, we had a lot of leftover funds that weren't going back to the students. And the past couple, the past two years, we've actually ran out of funds because we're helping so many students. And I think what is most important is just letting everybody know what we can do because we're kind of like a little, a little diamond in the rough in the student government that nobody really knows about the great things we can do for all the students. And being able to um, put a face to a name is very important. So I would definitely have each senator go to their respective departments, um, go to each of the classes, um, have like a meet and greet set at a table, just be able to be approachable. That's, I think we all need to be very approachable. That's what I pride myself on is that um, anybody can come up and talk to me about anything. Um, as well as the school needs to know what the Senate does. So social media is very important. Um, I would definitely set up a way that we can use social media to let everybody know about the past bills that we have passed. Awesome. Casey, 30 seconds. I would concur with my um, opponent in that social media is one of the greatest ways to get to this generation's, my generation's um, minds. Is that a correct word? Yeah, I think it is. Um, social media has the power to um, inform people of everything that's happening. So I really do think that is a good idea that should be implemented. And that's my rebuttal. Go ahead, Kendra. We have one. 30 seconds, Kendra. <laughs> Um, just to build on what I've already said, um, this past year, Legislation Day, not many people about it, but that's one of our biggest events for advertising is that we bring in a lot of people, they can present their ideas um, that we can fund, and then if we don't get to fund them through that, they can then come to us with a, with a future bill. Word of mouth is very important, and so by having in these activities that is um, sponsored by the Senate, that would definitely get the word of, word of the Senate around as well. Thanks, guys. What events do you plan on having next semester in order for clubs to earn more merit money? So more events that clubs can put on to get more merit money is to um, participate in the things that are already going on on campus. I know that's a way that um, clubs can earn merit money. I believe another way that we can earn even more merit money um, is to put on an event specific for that club. So let's say um, Raging Red wants to have an event. If those clubs show up to their shows or anything like that, they can receive merit money. Same with DECA. They have a competition coming up. If you come to support them, you can earn some more merit money. By supporting other clubs and supporting other students on campus, I believe that's a way you can grow your club. You get your club name out more and your face is shown, and that's how you can be able to grow and retain your members. I have many events planned. Um, part of my whole platform is just getting clubs to work together in an effort to get students involved through the clubs. Um, increasing grades, increasing friends, and uh, bettering off the students after graduation. Um, we just had a chili night cook-off. I think that's a great idea. Um, more, more outside activities. If we can have the clubs out around campus on Wednesdays, having blenders, playing music, passing out flyers, um, we'll give them merit money for that. That'll just that will bring more students into our clubs and get um, a more kind of interactive campus growing. Thank you. So, 30 seconds. Um, I would just like to add um, just how grateful I am for this university and for this opportunity that I do have to run and for the clubs here on campus because without them, our, our school wouldn't be as great as it is. I agree with Sarah. Our clubs are amazing. It's a great way to get students involved and um, leave a meaningful impact on the students. So, I'm very passionate about it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. How specifically will you demonstrate your support to the different departments on campus? I think just showing up and, and being there is a great support. Um, there's a lot to be said about like human interaction and being there in person. So as, as student body president, I would make sure that I was at a lot of different events. I went to all of the sporting games. I went to different clubs. And I, I just let them know that me, as a student body president, was ready and available for them. All right, CJ. That's a very tricky question. question. Again, there's so many, and some have events and some don't. I mean, how specifically will I support these different departments, right? In all honesty, it, it comes down to students and getting the students involved in their events. The most I could do as a student body president is be there and show the support. Um, whether it comes to me rallying more students to come with them, 
I would definitely be there myself, and I would make sure that the student government staff were promoting it. You know, a lot of the things, for example, I spent a couple of minutes up at the dental hygiene program yesterday, and they feel kind of like outsiders. And they felt that way because there hasn't been publicity up there or much of the current events being uh, passed up there. So I would definitely do what I can to promote each department's activities and attend them as student body president. Sarah, 30 seconds for rebuttal. I think I would also then use our current Senate. I think they're a great asset to our student government because they get to reach out to a lot of the different academic departments of our university. So then I would also encourage the Senate to go to the different students and be my representative as well because after all, student government is only as good as our weakest link. So if we don't work together as a team, then we're not very strong. CJ, 30 seconds. Another thought that just came into my head is, you know, about that um, spreading that's What's the, what's the quote? It's hard work is made light by many hands. And so again, I'm going to reiterate what I said earlier, the fact that get, as Sarah also mentioned, get student government on board, but make sure that each individual branch is performing to the best capability and capacity in order to support each individual activity in their own department. Thank you. All right, Kendra. In what ways will you encourage increased political involvement among students? Um, so this one is actually really interesting because we just um, made a new part of the VP of Academics um, that like part of the student government that includes the Institute of Politics. So by having these new stipend positions, um, we would have internship coordinators and we would more aptly be able to uh, make political involvement week so important because as this election goes on, I think it's very important for students to be involved. Um, and so I think just by um, having students come out and advertising well that they can do that. So Casey, in what ways will you encourage increased political involvement among students? Um, I'm an avid person when it comes to politics, I would say. I love talking about politics. I could probably debate about them all day until I'm blue in the face. So having a strong background in it and a passion for it would also push you to drive, would, would drive you to increase that same passion I have onto the students here on campus. And as my counterpart said, um, creating this new institution that can then um, express my passions and the students' passions to come together and do different debates and discuss those hot topics out there and do it in a respectful way that doesn't involve someone jumping across the table and doing something they would regret. Um, <laughs> so I think that's probably one of the biggest things as we pay and with this new institution of politics, um, we would be better able to show our passions of politics and get students involved in them. Can you have 30 seconds? Being informed is very important, and so by having these new events that we'll be doing next year, like the PCA <coughs> Politics, just letting students know what is happening, what is happening in the real world that is affecting each person, and letting them know that it does affect them, that they, they should care about it. Um, by having students be more informed, I believe that will definitely increase political involvement. Casey, I'm good. Awesome, very nice. Thanks. <laughs> Zach, what ideas do you have to incorporate non-traditional students and students who might not typically attend events or generally benefit from the student, our student association? Well, part of my platform is getting the international students in the Gardner Center where they belong. I know we've been working on that for a long time, but I'm going to make that happen. Um, also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we could seriously increase the student involvement at sports games. I'm thinking we need to rally behind the sports players. They represent Dixie State. We need to make them celebrities. I'm thinking events with the sports players. I want to see them doing dance performances out, you know, in front of the students, so we can rally behind them. Um, international students. I know they're always at the sports games. They're always at the service projects. They're some of our most involved students here at Dixie State University. I have a, a lot of respect for them. Um, so I was actually just at the International um, Students Club just over the weekend, and they're great people. They're working on some great things. So 
Uh, thank you.